guys. Here we are again today. Thanks for waiting for me. Uh, yesterday's video, or the last video you guys seen, was on the custom rear bumper on the 64. So today we're going to talk more rear bumper just in case there's some classic guys out there like, you know, that like the uh, original stuff. These, hold on, I'm in the sun. These towel bars are overriders here in 67 or one year only. Um, these are not them. I do have them, so I'm going to take these off and get the other ones and we'll get to putting the correct ones for the year back onto the 67. Uh, I'll bring you guys right back when I start taking some uh, hardware apart. Alright, so I had to close the door so I could give you guys the best look at this thing. It was so shiny. But if you look at, if you look at this radius right here, that's the 67 one year only towel bar. And this is uh, like... 66 five, I don't I don't know how many years they made it this way so you can see that this is uh, kind of more level and this one kind of curves down the idea was that it allowed a little better a little better clearance for the um, or for some reason for the uh, reverse light or I'm not sure what the thinking was there um, but that's how they're gonna look so we're gonna get the other one off um, and uh, Then we'll get the uh, correct ones put on there. I'll bring you guys right back Look at this junk that just pulled up in the driveway Stance German <laughs> stance nation. Oh the fitment guy It's got to go lower though Sort of hater pipe. Nice. All right, I'm going to clean these up. Just a little bit of Windex and a rag. In New Hampshire, the um, the ME was designated of the county you lived in. Um, so that was the designation. Different license plates uh, from different counties had a different uh, two-letter. Like uh, I have a MZ too from '66. But these in particular say '67, and my father-in-law is the one who had these stashed in his tractor garage, and he said to me, "I think it'd be good if." Uh, if you had some magnets on the back of them, so when you were at the car show, um, you could put the plates on. Um, I don't want to use these plates because I have the VW nut plates, but I did like his idea of at the show putting these on the car because uh, they are from 67. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we'll just get some magnets that go right here. I just wanted to share with you guys the story of my uh, New Hampshire plates. for my 1967 bug. All right, we'll bring you back. Uh, I'm trying to make arrangements to uh, go to uh, undisclosed location to have a little bit of uh, bumper bracketry uh, welding done. So that's probably where you guys will see me next. Here we have the rare North American pit bull in her natural state in the sun over there. You guys missed her in the last video. She wasn't in there, so. This is what she's been up to.
All right, so I'm back from the super secret location, and uh, I got this first one uh, started. Um, I had said earlier in the video that uh, the towel bar or overrider was different in 67 because I thought for the lights, but I was informed that it was because of the width of the deck lid. Um, so that as the deck lid opened, you didn't have to worry about hitting this corner. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me look. Oh yeah, you guys probably see that. So you didn't have to worry about the deck lid hitting this corner right here. So we'll get this tightened up and uh, you guys will get to listen to some music and uh, we'll see what the finished product looks like. Sorry, we had to take a small time out from the wrench in to do patina cam. She was barking at me because she wanted to be on camera, please. Drop it. All right, so hopefully we learned some things on the first try and uh, that will translate into an easier time on this one. Not that the other side was hard. It wasn't too bad at all. You know, my dog. All right, so more music and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so there you go, uh, 1967 one year only towel bars installed on my 1967 buck. I'd like to thank you guys again for coming on the bumper journey with me. Um, just so we don't get too tired of bumpers coming up next is whatever's going to happen with the front bumper on that there uh, 1964 bug named Daisy. Patina. Patina. Do you want to say goodbye to the people? Do you want to say goodbye to the people? Tell them. Tell them. See you later.